their majesties, the emperor and the empress, and other members of the imperial family. The agency assists the emperor in receiving officials. All gates here, like the Japanese participants. At the tip of the spire, that ring is called the Kushiro and it represents bangle or bracelet often found in prehistoric sites in Japan. And this tower looks very beautiful like this photograph shows. Uh, it is like imperial generations, starting with the Emperor Meiji on your left hand side and his son Emperor Taisho at the center and um, his grandson Emperor Showa on your right hand side. However, this original wooden mage palace was burnt down in 1945 during the war. In the current palace that you're looking at, like in 1968, about 50 years ago. Okay, now I'd like to take you to the. the south carriage porch and this is the main entrance where their majesties the emperor and the empress await the arrival of foreign, foreign heads of state now his majesty the emperor often holds ceremonies inside the palace in which the newly appointed foreign ambassadors to japan may be 400 oh no excuse me 2.3 tons and made from 3485 japanese crystal parts gigantic very big you know chandeliers inside now left of the palace behind the fence we have nante maybe we should we could move a little bit so uh, the people on the other side can also see okay please stop here left of the palace behind the fence we have nante which means south garden Nante is designed in a Japanese style, which includes elements uh, such as uh, falling water, uh, excuse me, uh, you know, sort of a stream uh, running inside, which gives you a feeling of standing in a valley surrounded by mountains. Now, inside the garden, can you see two round forms side by side? They are formed by planting more than 20 different trees in the same area and they're approximately six meters tall each. Now I'd like to ask you a question. Can you think of any two same animals side by side which resemble those forms? Anyone? Turtle? Did you say turtle? Yes. <laughs> exactly. They are made to look like two turtles side by side because Turtles are regarded as a symbol of longevity in Japan, long lives. Very lucky motif in Japan. Two turtles side by side. Some people say camel, <laughs> but two animals. Okay, let's go.
do not step on the sidewalk or pavement for your safety. I do not want you to drop your uh, cameras and smartphones inside the moat. You will never get it back, okay? But at least you can go up to this corner to take pictures, okay? Like this, so please take turns. Now you're standing on the big post and the bridge of the main gate, which stands at the height of 13 meters above the boat below. During the end of period, this bridge was originally made of wood. Now, even at some time, we're not technically able to build a single bridge at this height. So what they did was they first built a bridge lower down, like this, and then, like this, and then built another bridge on top of it. <laughs> okay, please keep left because the other groups are coming. Yes, please keep left. Thank you. Jordan to greet and receive good wishes from the people. We have a parking underground. 120 cars can be parked there. Now as for the floor of today, we use a very special stone which is softer than ordinary stone. Um, so it is said that even if someone would fall down, that person would not get seriously injured. But please don't try to find out. <laughs> whether it's true. This stone is called the Yura stone uh, from Kagawa prefecture in Shikoku. It is an andesite, a sort of volcanic rock. Now on the 1st of May 2019, was anyone here living in Japan back in 2019? No, no one. Okay, on the 1st of May 2019, His Majesty the Emperor ascended to the throne as his father abdicated and has become the Emperor Emeritus. Japan has entered the new era called the Reiwa, following the previous Heisei era. And the term Reiwa is derived from an anthology of Japanese poetry called the Manyoshu, 10,000 leaves, dating back to the 8th century. And the term Reiwa means a culture is born and nurtured through people caring about each other 
And actually here in Japan, this is the fourth year of Reiwa in Japan. Okay, please follow me. <coughs> okay, we would like to wait here for the Japanese food. These flowers are camellias. Red and white. Uh, the two colors are happy colors in Japan. I think they're preparing for the for the um okay twice a year every year here in on Tote. Uh, twice a year on the 2nd of January for the new year and also on the Empress birthday which is February 23rd as I have explained many people are, will be coming here but for the next uh, year because of the COVID they have limited the number to I think 1500 people at one time and uh, it's not still decided but you should check Japanese Prime Minister, now it's Mr. Kishida, and other officials record their visits to pay respect to their majesties after returning from overseas visits. Other people also come here to sign their names on such occasions as the celebration of the imperial family. And here you can see we have the, exactly the same chandelier. We have two in the main entrance, and we have one here, which weighs 2.3 tons each and is made from 3,485 Japanese crystal parts. Okay, the next building on the, your right hand side is the Omeiden, and this building is used for banquet. Homeiden, and this photograph shows uh, a huge banquet was held here, here in this building, to, um, for, for the ceremony for the ascension to the throne of our new emperor. So all these people were invited from, you know, many countries abroad, which was before the COVID, fortunately. Otherwise, we could not do this. <laughs>
Excuse me, this downward slope here is called Yamashita Dori. Can you see it with tails up and heads down? And there we 
okay, the car is coming, so the please keep left. Okay, thank you. And they're regarded as protect protectors of building from fire. I Good morning.